Scorpio, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I'm going to be doing your money, wealth, prosperity, abundance, finance reading for the month of June 2019. I hope you had a good May. I know it was an interesting reading last month, so I'm very curious to see what messages come through for you for the month of June. Uh, some things are happening. Now, I'm using my Trip and Wait Tarot deck, and I've been saying all month long that this is a very, very chatty deck. She really likes to drop cards, as you can see, and she really likes to uh, start sharing her wisdom. And I do see some things that are going on with you, Scorpio. All right, so it looks like the worst is over for you, Scorpio. Okay, making sure none of my cards flipped over. Okay, Scorpio, the worst is over. June is gonna be a lot better. However, you have to get out of that mentality that Scorpio I know you are all about being passionate and very loving and very um, energetic having high energy for a lot of things however when I look at this here this is telling me that you really need to shift your mentality to a more prosperous mentality because the way you're thinking really is making you your own worst enemy okay um, we have the king of wands here this is in reverse the tower is in reverse we have the eight of wands upright and we have the five of pentacles upright now the king of wands this is a very stable man however he's had some unstable moments um, the tower is a complete breakdown of everything, but it's okay because it's in the reverse, which means now you are on the build-up phase. June is definitely going to be build-up Scorpio. It's going to happen quickly, too, because uh, this Eight of Wands is always about speed and swiftness. Now, I see the Five of Pentacles here, and this is that mentality of thinking that there's not enough. It's that lack mentality, that kind of... It's like a cycle. You know, you do really good and then something triggers you or something, you know, makes you feel like, oh no, you know, it's, I don't have enough. I don't have everything I need. And I want, I want to, I want to tell you that you need to break that, that habit because it will hold you back. What do we need to know for Scorpio as it relates to money, wealth, finances, Prosperity and Abundance for the month of June 2019. Oh, Scorpio, you're definitely going to be celebrating. Good news is on the way or a good, just things are going to turn out good in some way, shape, or form. And it's definitely going to cause you to be feeling like you're on a cloud, Scorpio. All right. All right, Scorpio. Okay, we have the sun in reverse. Now, the sun is always a positive card, whether he shows up upright or reversed. This is never a negative card in any of my spreads. So this is definitely good news, things working out, all positive, all happy, good energy definitely coming your way in June, Scorpio. Now, I also see a celebration of some sort here. You're going to be partying, but um, you know what? You're going to have to be careful because someone is watching you. Someone is watching you, Scorpio, and they're trying to figure out. Hmm. They're trying to figure out. I want to say what your weak spot is. That's what came to me. So be careful, Scorpio. Like they say, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. There's someone who is keeping an eye out on you, but it's not necessarily in the best way. I see the hermit here. It could be someone of a Virgo energy, or it could also be someone, someone in your home. 
because the hermit is all about being reclusive, um, staying in, um, kind of being on a solo journey. Let's see. Let's see, Scorpio. Scorpio, you're contemplating your future with this person. Okay, so now that makes a little bit more sense. There is someone who is watching you because they want to know if, and I'm getting the feeling that this is a romantic relationship. There is someone who's watching you very, very closely because they want to know if you are a financially stable person and if you will be a financially stable partner. Now, if you're already in a relationship, this could still be someone nearby in your immediate circle of people who is still trying to pay attention of whether or not you are financially stable or maybe someone is kind of lurking in the background waiting until you hit it big and then maybe they want to hit you up for a loan or, or hit you up for some money I do feel that I do feel that that person is very close to you okay now I do see the two of wands here and this is it's like you were actually contemplating a future with this person. I mean, it's funny how the cards came out because it's almost like he's looking directly in, you know, in this direction. So this is somebody that you, that you have contemplated a long-term relationship or association with. It could be a romantic partner. It could be a business partner, you know, someone that you've been considering going into business with. Um, it could be maybe some type of a, um, I want to say like an investment that you've been considering, maybe like with, with a company, maybe some type of a, uh, you know, a business relationship. If, if maybe you want to be associated with a certain comp company or something. So <clears throat> just know that you need to be really, really careful with your spending and you also need to be very very careful with your behavior because someone is watching everything you do all right Scorpio I need to pull another card because I'm feeling like there's more that we just need to discuss yep it's all about your intuition Scorpio you need to really tap into that for the month of June I'm going to get my clarifying deck so we can go deeper into this. What do we need to know for Scorpio as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of June 2019? Scorpio, you probably already know this. I'm getting the feeling like I'm not telling you anything new. That card was sticky on the bottom. He wanted to come out. I'm not telling you anything new, Scorpio, because this is the all-seeing eye. It's right in the middle of the spread. You may already have an, an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, the Knight of Wands. This is somebody who is coming into your life, like I said, and they're trying to make a decision of whether or not they want to stay. And I do see it as some type of a partnership or connection because the two of cups here. This means, you know, the combining, <laughs> the joining of something or someone. And like I said, I'm feeling really strongly that this is a joint partnership in some way, shape, or form. But again, Scorpio, I feel like you already know this. What do we need to know for Scorpio for June 2019? Yep, Scorpio, I mean, and you're going to be pulled in a couple of different directions here. And you're going to feel strongly about so many things. You're just, you're going to feel strongly about your work. You're going to feel strongly about your relationships. And you're going to feel strongly about your future. That's usually what this chariot is. It's also something about, you know, quickness. Again, we also have the Eight of Wands here where we have big, uh, things happen happening swiftly, quickly, fast. Same with the chariot. And this is just 
moving ahead, you know, moving ahead, charging ahead and, you know, just enjoying the ride basically. I think I want to do a couple more cards. I'm feeling like you need a couple more cards, Scorpio. What do we need to know for Scorpio for June 2019? Yep. There you go. All right, Scorpio, you're going to have so many choices. You're not going to know what to do. And we've got that hermit again. Again, this is either Virgo energy or it's somebody in your home who is keeping an eye on you. But Scorpio, I mean, things are actually working out really well. You've kind of hit some rough patches, but you're on the mend. You're turning things around for the better. You've got some celebrations coming up in June, but then you still have somebody watching and lurking in the background. And if you notice, see how all of these cards that relate to that all fell together nearby. There is somebody watching you, Scorpio, so you just be aware of that. However, I do see a partnership showing up. It's going to be good. Someone's trying to decide whether or not they want to stay full on. But I see that you are going to use your energy and your passion 100% to just move forward. And you're going to have so many options, you're not even going to know what to do. But they're all going to be good. <laughs> all right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and pull a card from the good tarot deck. Oh, beautiful. We have the Queen of Water. Now this is also the Queen of Cups in a traditional tarot deck, but this cup is all about emotions and emotional stability and not being um, overwhelmed with your emotions. So Scorpio, you're really going to have to maintain some emotional balance and emotional stability throughout June. You know, try not to underreact or overreact. Um, sometimes you can get really caught up in your feelings, end up feeling some kind of way about something, but this card is all about emotional stability and really, really just keeping your emotions in check and keeping your emotions stable, especially in June. That's going to be very important. That's going to be very helpful to you. All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or observations, feel free to drop those down in the comments below. If you would like to get some wealthy mindset tips, make sure you sign up for my newsletter. I'll have it linked in the description. And that's it for this month. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you again soon.